Hey everybody, Tony at Richway Industries. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about our CT100D machine used for producing cellular concrete. We're just gonna give you a general overview, some dimensions and specs on this machine. So starting off, of course, we rate this machine at 100 yards an hour of 30 PCF material. Now we're able to get that kind of production rate out of such a small package by using what we call the continuous production method. So with that, what we're actually doing is taking slurry before foam and putting it into the hopper on our pump and then we're injecting our foam through this hose onto a fitting of the discharge side of the pump. That fitting would actually have a static mixer uh, which would help blend the foam and slurry together along with the hose to the point of placement. So typically with this production method uh, or many types of cellular concrete production ready mix is used to provide the slurry. Now one issue that you may run into, and, and many people do with ReadyMix supplied material, is you're going to have probably some aggregates, uh, coarse and fine aggregates in there left over from previous loads that that truck has hauled. So we want to try and make sure that we're keeping that material out of this pump, and we do so by adding a screen on top of the hopper. Inevitably though, at the end of your job or the end of the day, you're going to have some material build up on top of this screen. So one of the features we've added is a spring assist to this whole screen assembly so that one or two people can real easily just lift this up and dump all the aggregate off or the debris off the hopper on the pump. So we've added that on to make it, you know, just a, an easy and convenient feature for you to get the machine cleaned out. Uh, one other thing that we do is we put a nice big clean out on the bottom of the pump there and then of course too we also build in uh, pressure washer pumps to all of our CT series machines again just as an aid to make the cleanup process more quick and efficient for you so stepping up towards the front of the machine we've got two tanks on here an 80 gallon tank for concentrate and a 300 gallon tank for water now that 80 gallon tank is going to give you as high as 800 yards of production. That is going to be dependent on your foam density, your water to concentrate ratio, and also the cellular concrete density that you're producing. Now the 300 gallon water tank, well that's just not going to get you too far. 300 gallons is only going to make 30, maybe 45 yards of cellular concrete. Um, with most any machine out there, you're just not going to be able to haul enough water to the job site. Now the machine rides on a pair of 7,000 pound torque flex axles. Uh, going to give you a nice smooth ride. Uh, the dry weight of this machine is about 7,100 pounds. So by the time we load it with water, concentrate, and fuel, we're going to be somewhere around 10,500 pounds. At that weight, it's still a very manageable weight for any three-quarter ton truck. And I can tell you from personal experience, having pulled these machines from one coast to the other uh, across the states, they're a very nice pulling machine. You know, between the uh, axles we put on and the overall low profile and size of the machine, it pulls very well. Now the frame on this machine is 2x6, tubular steel construction, quarter inch wall thickness. We sand, uh, excuse me, sandblast that frame. We do a powder coat primer and then we do our top coat. So you've got a very uh, good durable finish on this machine. Taking a quick look inside of the power unit, The machine's powered by a 74 horse turbo diesel Kubota, which of course is tier four final. Uh, the nice thing is with 74 horsepower, it does not need DEF um, for the complicating your emissions treatment systems. On the far side of the power unit, there is two coolers, one for your um, hydraulic oil and the second for your air compressor oil. The air compressor on this machine is a rotor compressor. The hydraulics, we use are Danfoss hydraulics and Danfoss is a very good name going to give you consistent um, reliable long term uh, long term performance excuse me and, and the Danfoss components are, are used both on the hydraulic motors and the rest of the control system as well the
the last thing on this machine, and yeah, come on up here, take a, a little closer look, is the G2 control system. Now, this really stands out um, in terms of our capabilities to make a machine that's going to be very uh, easy for operators to use, very consistent for them to run, um, and giving you productivity tools um, such as tracking the amount of foam you've produced, how much concentrate you've used, things like that. We also write the software that goes into this control. So the cool thing there is we've got the ability to um, add software updates and uh, virtually do whatever we may want to do with this control. Um, and of course, we're always working on things like that. Uh, so be on the lookout for those types of things in the future. I'm not going to go into this G2 control any further. We've got some other videos where we have um, dug in a little deeper and really how to set it up on how to run it. Um, like I said, I just wanted to give you an overview of the control and the rest of the machine. So I think that takes care of it. If you've got any questions on our CT100D or any of our other machines, uh, feel free to get a hold of us. You can call us, email us, text us, whatever is going to be easiest and most convenient for you. And we'll be happy to help out any way we can. Thank you.